What's up data pipeliners? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can import your Tetro project pipeline into other Python scripts. By being able to import your project into other scripts and other Python projects, you can reuse all of the great features from your Tetro project and Tetro pipelines in any project that you can conceive of using Python. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that I'm going to do with our pipeline is I'm going to modify the output of the report accuracy node. Originally, this node actually doesn't return anything. Um, but in order for us to just show the example, we're just going to grab the accuracy itself. Um, this accuracy would otherwise be written onto the console output. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to return that report accuracy into a in-memory data set. And what you'll, we'll see later is that we'll be able to access this in-memory data set directly from the function that is loading this pipeline. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a brand new file, and we're just going to call this file something like run model. And this file is going to be our example file, which shows how we can import the Kedro project and then run the target pipeline. So we're just going to put a function inside of here, run model. Now, in order for this run model function to actually work, we need to import the context that we want to use. Now, in order to load the context that we want to use, we actually can just go from Kedro.framework context, import load context. And to this load context function, we're going to pass in the directory that contains the Kedro project that has the pipeline that we wish to run. Right here, I'm just going to copy the path directly to this project. And there we load the context. Now, the reason why we want to load the context is because we don't necessarily have all of the metadata required to reconstruct the data catalog that the pipeline is going to use. So by loading the Kedro context, we get that for free. Now, in order to call the pipeline in question, it's actually very easy. We just type in context.run, and then we pass in the pipeline name. And in this case, the pipeline name is, of course, our default pipeline. And this will include the data engineering as well as the data science pipeline that is being created by that Iris dataset pipeline. Now, here's where it gets interesting we want to grab the result of the pipeline run. And this result actually is based off of the output data sets of the pipeline. If it finds any nodes that are outputting to a memory data set, then that memory data set will return from this context run inside of a dictionary that is keyed by the name of that output data set and then the value that was output and returned. So in our case, what we'll be getting is we'll be getting a dictionary that contains report accuracy, because that was the name of the data set that we supplied earlier, right here under report accuracy. And the value will be, of course, that report accuracy. We can go ahead and just do something funny here where we print out the result. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in the required arguments in order to run this guy. And let's go ahead and just click run. And so what you'll see is the context loading up, then the context running that pipeline, and then we get our dictionary return value report accuracy 96.6. Now this is all well and good, um, but there may be cases where you want to run the model with a set of parameters. For example, very similar to the last video that we had, what if we wanted to run this model using custom parameters for our example test data ratio. In order to do this, it's actually a little bit different. We need to have a few extra steps involved. The first step is that we need to create an in-memory data set that contains the data that we want to pass through. So in our case, for this run model, let's go ahead and grab a data ratio that we would like to use. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did in the last video. We're going to inject it into the pipeline using a generated node. Now we can begin to inject that node by creating a pipeline of our own. And now we have to transform the default pipeline to accept this injected node. We can, of course, transform the original pipeline using the modular pipeline function. Now we're going to modify the parameter that would be the normal input. 
and map it to the injected parameter. And we also have to glue our pipelines together. So the final pipeline has now been created. The next step is that we actually need to create a runner to run this pipeline. What we can do is we can actually import the Kedro runners from Kedro.runner. And in this case, we're just going to use a sequential runner. Finally, we can now run the pipeline. So using the runner, we call dot run, pass in the pipeline that we've injected our new parameter into, plus the data catalog. And the catalog is going to come from our context.catalog. And then we will get the final result, which we're going to go ahead and print to screen again. So in order to run this guy, we have to now add in our new parameter for our test data ratio. And that ratio, we're just going to go ahead and say 0.1. And let's go ahead and give this guy another run. And there you have it. We have a higher test set accuracy, and we we're able to inject this new parameter. And you can see the injection happening right here inside of the logs, saving data to injected data ratio. That is our in-memory data set. And now, of course, from here, you can do something like grab that result and return it to whatever calling function you require. And thereby, you complete the integration between your calling scripts and your Kedro pipeline. So this is a very simple method that you can use in order to integrate your Kedro projects and pipelines with any other systems or services that you have written in Python. That does it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure that you button that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.